Hi, my name is Philippe from Fastair, and today I'll show you the basic concepts you need to know to start using Woodcraft. We'll begin by downloading the tutorial project necessary for this introduction. Let's go into the Woodcraft gallery for this. Using the search tool, we can filter projects by name and author. We'll search for projects called Tutorial. Let's download the basics tutorial. Now if we return to the project screen, our tutorial project is there and ready to be opened. We're now looking at an unfinished picnic table project. We'll use it to explore the basic ways to interact with objects in Woodcraft. First, tap on an object to select it, and tap any empty spot to deselect. Objects can be viewed from different angles. We're currently in the left view. We can flip to the right view by tapping this button. Let's return to the left view for now. To zoom onto a particular piece of lumber, double tap it. To zoom back out and view our entire unfinished picnic table, double tap any empty spot. A lot of actions in Woodcraft can be performed while an object is selected. To access these actions, for your selection, two-finger tap the screen. To dismiss the menu, just tap anywhere on the screen. You can navigate around the building space using two gestures. Place your finger on the screen and pan to move left, right, up and down. Use a pinch gesture to move closer or farther away from your construction. To move the selected objects, perform a pan gesture after placing your finger inside the move handle. Objects can also be rotated using a two-finger rotation gesture. Other points of view can be accessed by opening the Woodcraft drawer. To do so, slide or tap its handle. We'll switch to the back view by sliding it over the current view. I will now show you how to add new pieces of lumber to your construction. Tap the plus button to access the lumber yard. From here, various types of lumber can be added. Each button represents the lumber's initial orientation. If you need something that's not available by default, tap the plus button and enter a new piece's dimensions. Once you've decided on a type of lumber desired, tap the appropriate button or drag it directly into your construction. So far, we've been working in 3D mode. It is sometimes easier to precisely place objects using the 2D mode to eliminate the perspective. To switch to 2D mode, just tap the 3D toggle button. I will complete the picnic table stop. I'll start by selecting two pieces. To do so, I must first bring the pop-up menu using the two-finger tap and choose the Select More option. I will now duplicate the two pieces. And move them into place. OK, the top looks good enough. Let's lock it into place to ensure it won't be accidentally modified again. To do so, I'll use a selection rectangle tool. Now that the pieces are locked, I can no longer move them. And that's it for the first tutorial. Feel free to send us your questions and comments at woodcraft.fastile.com.